What's up YouTube? Jetforth here and today I am going to be giving you a little bit of a course on how to get yourselves up to that 470, 480 gear score level. Now I am still working on this myself, but this is the quickest way that you can do it. So bear with me here because this can get a little complicated. Now everything is based around the recalibration station. If we look here, I have a vest that is 450 and that is part of my gear set, which I'm running an SMG build, which I kind of like, kind of don't. It's just kind of what happened, so whatever. You have to re-roll the attributes to get the higher gear score. You cannot do it with talents. This particular vest that I am running right now has a plus 4% weapon damage. Now I also have a three other vests that have weapon damage. One of them is under this weapon damage. The other two are over. One is plus 3%. Now if you try and re-roll that, it's going to put you under. It will literally take your 450 and turn it into like a 440. I also have a plus 5.5% and a plus 6% and in there somewhere else is a plus 7. Now what you want to do is take the mid-rolled one, the 5.5, because you have to go up in increments to be able to get the gear score hike and then put it into that piece of armor. Then... After that, once you start hitting that 465, 470, you take that other piece of gear that has the higher roll on it, and then you're going to put it into it again. But you do have to hit the soft caps before it to take effect. So all your gear has to be 465, or all of your gear has to be 470. Okay, also, when you open caches, which is one of the only other ways that you actually get gear that is over 450, those will give you a small incremental boost when you're putting that gear into your other said gear. Now, once you re-roll one of these pieces of gear, you can keep re-rolling that stat and that stat alone. And that's it. So that's why I'm saying do it in increments, okay? Another small tip that you can do too is if you do have a piece of gear that you're using and you have already recalibrated it like I did and I didn't know any better yet before I figured all this stuff out is take another piece of junk gear that you have that's say 450, 440, whatever you're re-rolling. Re-roll that so that it is in your inventory so that way it still does that whole, it knows that it's on your character so you have another piece of gear that's high rolled like that. So that way your next drops are going to be even higher if you're following along. I don't know. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm sure you get what I'm saying. And another thing, superior gear, the purple gear, even if it's really low leveled but it has a higher stat, it will also bump up a high end piece of gear up to the 465, 470, 480 mark, depending on if as long as the stat is higher than that. With knowing that, now you can go around to the vendors and see if they have higher crit hit chance, higher health, higher whatever on that said piece of gear that you want to re-roll and purchase it from those vendors. So go to the theater, the campus, the White House, the secret vendor, and see if they have any other pieces of gear like that that will allow you to bump up your piece of gear. So before you trash, delete, sell, whatever, everything that is in the game, make sure you're checking it against all of your pieces of gear before you get rid of it. And this will continually keep bumping you up until you hit that 480 mark or 500. I don't, I honestly do not know what the exact cap is, but from doing this, I went from a 451, 452 up to a 460. Just today immediately making this video once I saw how all of this worked. Now if you're still with me there is a bit of a glitch or a farm to get upgrade materials and trinkets and other stuff which I don't know it's kind of a nuisance kind of not but if you're really desperate all you have to do is make sure you have the metro ruins control point taken over you want to go around the corner to the lockers open up the lockers get all your junk you log out log back in and these lockers will be open again and you can continually farm them over and over and over again log out log back in farm the lockers it's pretty dumb i'm sure they'll patch it there's one or two other videos about this glitch i don't know what their names are but uh but yeah it's a thing that can be done like i said make sure you go through all of your gear in the recalibration station even if you have a piece of gear that you can't recalibrate or don't have something to put into it take a piece of junk and another piece of junk recalibrate it and make sure you have that 465 470 the highest level piece of gear on your character so that way if you're opening up your caches or if you manage to actually get yourself clan caches join my clan the scanners we need help
Seriously, that's really the only way to get that higher level gear score other than recalibrating. Hopefully this didn't turn out too complicated. I'm sure I just made this an entirely huge headache of a nightmare edit. Who knows? I don't know. Hit the old like button for me if you could. That would be absolutely amazing. Please subscribe almost to that freaking thousand mark. And uh, I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.